Back Road Ministry of the World premiere, Mr. Monty coming back at you live and direct. No, it's been a long time. I dropped a couple of videos. Take I like to take a little break between videos. I don't want to just um, act like, you know, I'm trying to be the next YouTube superstar. This is YouTube television starring Mr. Mockty. You know, that's not my style. I give you a little bit. I you know I might take a break, give you a little bit more. So, got the album coming out, hopefully by the end of next year. Um, BRM, the 47 problem will drop. Uh, start putting some of the music that I've already done uh, on the, on the uh, YouTube page so people can kind of get a feel of, you know, what type of music. Um, I enjoy the type of music that I like to present. So let's talk real quick about the blackout, the Con Ed blackout that happened Sunday. And it was, um, where, well, they say in Saturday, Sunday, even something like that. Mostly, I think it was Sunday. Kind of not the impact of the Times Square blackout in that area, but still an impact because it impacted the Brooklyn area, trains in Brooklyn, impacting a lot of families. So let me tell y'all what took place so in my profession i work with a lot of people a lot of people that work inside of the new york community a lot of poor people so usually poor people got the best 411 because you might have somebody connected working in that that uh company that might give you some information so i knew that con ed was going to shut the power off on tuesday because this came to me from one of my clients who told me that her um friend had an associate that worked at Con Ed, and she was telling her, hey, uh, this weekend they're going to turn the power off. She was telling her, you need to get it ready, get the, you know, you know, get everything you need because they're going to turn the power off. But she didn't really give a reason to why they were going to turn the power off. She just told her, get ready because they're going to shut this power down. So she gave the friend the 411. And I got this information on Tuesday that we're going to shut the power down on Sunday. Everybody in New York and Brooklyn was oblivious to this but it was people in con ed that you know luckily for a lot of people they had some associates at con ed that knew what 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 the 411 was so this to me is just telling you know kind of that message that at any time we can turn this we can shut this motherfucker down at any time so yeah we can shut down the grid here we don't have to give you any fucking reason for why we do it we got people running around thinking something wrong with the grid there's nothing wrong with the grid this information was they were going to shut this shit down. And that's what they did. So, pretty much them stating who holds the power when we talk about this whole thing with corporations trying to run America. If you watch a lot of movies, they talk about corporations getting so powerful that you have these corporate wars. And there's a lot of um, series like Dark Matter that talks about the corporate wars. If you ever watch Rollerball, the old version, they talk about how the corporations... Um, use rollerball to fight their wars, their corporate wars. Energy might take on, um, might have energy taking on, um, you know, food or something like that. Kind of mix it, mixing it up. But you know, the corporations with these this power, like Con Ed, really the government trying to snatch control and the state government trying to snatch control from companies like Con Ed, so they can shut off the power whenever they want to. But it's all that thing of we got to get out of this dependency to certain things. Solar power is a thing. Uh, I got a house now. I'm going to try to at least get me you know, a small array of solar power panels to power my house because solar power is the thing. We don't have to depend on oil and other uh, outside entities to be our primary source of power. And just in case they do try something, Unless the sun explodes sometime or the planet explodes, we still got sun sunlight. We still got solar powers that as that um, alternate form of energy, and that's what I'm really going to bank on utilizing for, um, solar power panels and small array of panels to kind of capture that power from the sun and then be able to light my home and really power my home. So get out of this thing of dependency. There's things that've been created, but we're so dependent on these companies that we're scared to utilize them. And that's how they're going to keep control. You got people right now, if something goes down and the grocery store closes down, they won't know how to survive. They can't go out to the woods and skin a deer and get the meat and cook it. They don't know what the fuck to do. And that, that breeds insanity at that point. That breeds lawlessness because you're doing whatever you have to do to survive when the old instinct of going to the woods and hunting is gone. 
that of that old instinct is just gone because you become so dependent on other people. But this is one of those power moves to show the dependency that we have on these people. If they turn the power off, you don't have any. The people don't got generators. I got to go out and get a generator. People don't even have generators just in case they turn the power off. There is no backup plan if the power is turned off. And you have to have some form of backup plan when uh, these these folks, you know, pretty much do what they want to do. And that's all they're doing. They're doing what they want to do. They're showing you who has the control. And like we say, it's all about power with these rituals and ceremonies. It's all about power with these rituals and ceremonies. So turning the power off, you know, something that, you know, they've done before. They'll do time and time again. They don't have to give you an excuse of why they did it, but they're showing you who's actually in control of the light switch. They are. And they can shut this motherfucker down at any time and drive people crazy when they want to. Mr. Mocky Backroll Ministry Peace.